Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to find this. What is this? The sum of the interior angles of a dodecagon? What kind of word? Okay, decagon. Dode well, decagon is a ten-sided shape. A do, like, yeah, like a deck. But a dodecagon is a shape with, well, here's my misshapen dodecagon that it took me forever to draw. But let's count how many sides there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sides. And there are also one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve angles. Now, here's what the question is asking for. This 12 sided sh polygon shape, uh, this 12 angled polygon, what do all 12 of these angles add up to? So find the sum of the interior angles. So these are interior angles. And what do all of them add up to? Uh, we could get a protractor and, and measure each of these, um, but we don't have a protractor. I looked for mine and I can't find it. Um, so there has to be a different way. Um, so in your class, you probably know what the sum of the interior angles are for a triangle, right? The triangle sum theorem. So let's look, let's focus on this right here. So this obviously is not a dodecagon, but this shape right here will help us find the key to finding the sum of the interior angles or what all of these angles right here add up to for any shape. Okay, so here's a three-sided shape. It's called a triangle. Duh, you know that. And the triangle sum theorem tells us that this angle plus this angle plus this angle add up to 180 degrees. Three-sided shape. All three angles add up to 180 degrees. Now let's look at this right here. Now pay attention because we're, we're going to look at a pattern and this pattern will help us find a shortcut or find a way to figure out what all those angles add up to for a dodecagon or for any polygon, a, a nonagon, a hexagon, a 100 gon. That's a 100 sided shape. Okay, so here's a a four-sided polygon which is called a quadrilateral and we're gonna use this right here this is a triangle and I want to divide this up into triangles like a puzzle so I'm just gonna pick any old vertex vertex is just a point uh, one of the four points on this polygon and I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna connect it to another vertex and so there I've made two triangles four sides two triangles 180 degrees and 180 degrees and so this means that all of these angles right here add up to well 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees yeah so this is the quadrilateral sum theorem all four of these angles add up to 180 degrees now you're probably asking why don't you create why don't you draw more lines like this, I would have drawn this. But if we divide it into four triangles, you'd have created these angles right here. And these angles don't really matter for these angles right here. So all we need are two triangles. 180 plus 180 adds up to 360 for a four-sided polygon or a quadrilateral. Now, let's look at this one. This is a five-sided polygon, which is called a pentagon. We're going to pick one vertex and I'm just going to connect it to another open vertex like that. And then is there another open one? Yeah, right there. So I'm going to connect it over here. And there's, man, yeah, there's that. It's, it looks pretty cool. And so we have three triangles. So this triangle, the angles add up to 180. This Triangle sum theorem, 180. Triangle sum theorem, 180. So this will help us figure out what the sum of these angles, this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle adds up to by getting our calculator. And 180 times 3 would be 540. So if you want to talk about the, the uh, pentagonal sum theorem, all five angles add up to 540 degrees. Do you see a pattern yet? Do you? 
don't know. Let's do another one. Okay, so we have a six-sided shape. N equals six for the six sides and six angles. Maybe you see the pattern and you just want to fast forward. But if you don't, uh, stick with me. Okay, so, uh, so uh, let's do the same thing. Let's divide this up into triangles because we want to figure out what all of these six angles add up to. So I'm gonna just going to pick one. And there, one, two... Three, three lines that I drew create four triangles which are 180 degrees each and all right so 180 times four would be 720 so the hexagonal sum theorem would be 720 degrees now you're saying oh my gosh are we gonna do this for all of them are we okay we're gonna do one more just so you get the point okay um, so we got that one, two, three, and four. And that creates five triangles for this seven sided, seven angled shape. All right, so 180 times five is 900 degrees. Okay, so this is 900 degrees for these five triangles. Okay, you're like, Mr. Q, just stop, stop. So what's the formula? Well, let's look at this. Here is a three-sided shape, which is just one triangle. So I'm going to put one triangle. Here is a four-sided shape that we split up into two triangles. Here is a five-sided shape split up to three triangles, and then six-sided shape, four triangles, and then seven-sided shape into five triangles. Now the question is, and you're like, I'm so glad you stopped right there. I don't want to watch anymore. Okay, so how do we get from four sides to 360 degrees, five sides to 540, eight sides to whatever? Well, okay, let's look at this pattern. How many tri can we predict how many triangles would fit in here just by looking at this pattern? So three sides, one triangle, four sides, two triangles, five sides, three triangles, six sides, four triangles, seven sides, five triangles. Do you see the difference between these numbers? So this would be with eight sides, there would be six triangles. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we, we took this number of sides or number of angles and subtracted from two and we got six. And then we're going to multiply that by 180. Huh? So six times 180 would be 1,080 degrees. Okay, there we go. We didn't have to draw the lines anymore. This nine-sided shape, well, to get the number of triangles, it's nine minus two, which would be seven. And seven times 180, because it's seven triangles, would be 1,260. Did you, do, you, do you see that pattern? Whoa. All right, so what's the rule? Do you guys have a rule? Do you have a rule in your head? Try to think about it, press pause, think about the rule. Maybe you have the rule in your head. Okay, find the sum of the interior angles of a dodecagon. Now, we have 12 sides. So right here, n is equal to 12. How many triangles fit inside? Well, it would be, you, you would think 10. Yeah, so it would be n minus 2, which is the number of angles and number of sides, times 180 degrees. Here's your formula. So this N is the number of sides and this right here, this N minus two is the number of triangles that fit inside. So if we divided this up again, okay, it'd be two less than the number of sides. And this right here is the triangle sum theorem. So take a second, digest this. Make sure you understand this formula. So if there are 
n number of sides, you subtract by 2 to get the number of triangles, and you multiply it by 180, like this. We have an 4 sides, subtract by 2 to get the number of triangles, and multiply it by 180, we get 360. We have 5 sides, subtracted by 2, we get 3 triangles, multiplied by 180, we have 540 degrees. Now, I hope you get that. So here we go, our n is 12 for this dodecagon, so let's plug it into the formula. We have 12 sides, we need to subtract it by 2 to get the number of triangles, and multiply it by the triangle sum theorem. So 12 minus 2 is 10 times 180 degrees, and we would get a grand total of 1,800 degrees. There we go, because 10 triangles fit inside, so 10 times 180 degrees would be 1,800 degrees total. So the sum of all 12 of these angles would add up to 1,800. So get a protractor, add them up, and you'll get that same thing. But we don't need a protractor. All right, so let's try this one. Find the sum of the interior angles of a 21 gone. I don't want to draw it. Let's just, so our n is 21. How many triangles are there? Well, there's 21 minus two triangles, which is 19, times 180, because that's the triangle sum theorem. 19 times 180 would be, 19 times 180 would be 3,420 degrees. All 21 angles add up to 3,420 degrees. So, or if you want to say the 21 gone sum theorem is that all 21 angles add up to 3,420 degrees. Yeah, you got it, you get it? So yeah, the number of sides, subtract by two to get the number of triangles and multiply by the triangle sum theorem, 3,420 degrees. Okay, now here's a different one. Let's see how this one works. Okay, so the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 5,940. How many sides does it have? Or angles, slash angles. This, is, this really means slash angles. So, well, what's our formula? We know the sum of the interior angles of a polygon formula is n, and this is what we're trying to find. How many sides does it have? And then minus two, which is the number of triangles that fit inside if we split it up times the triangle sum theorem. And this already tells us the sum of the interior angles is, is, remember, equals is, 5,940. So let's just do some algebra. Don't distribute that 180. Let's do this. Instead of distributing that, this let's do the opposite of distributing, which is dividing. Divide both sides by 1,008, or huh, 180. 5,940 divided by 180 is 33 equals n minus 2. Now, a lot of people will see this and say, oh, the answer is 31. No, show your work. You would add 2 to both sides. And so the number of sides, n, number of sides or number of angles is 35 sides slash angles sides slash angles. All right, moving along. Well, let's grab another color, and I printed this one twice, so let's look at this one. Um, find x, put this in your notebooks. Okay, so, huh. first thing is, let's count how many how many sides slash angles there are. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. One, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides slash eight angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I did. I did that twice. So measure twice uh, and cut once if you ever built anything. So that's the rule. Um, eight sides. It's an octagon. So we have our n is equal to eight. Let's figure out how many triangles fit inside because we wanted to find out what all eight of these angles add up to. N minus two times 180. I should have just plugged that in. Eight minus two times 180. Six times 180 is 
1080 degrees. Okay, so for an octagon, eight sides, octagon, all of these angles add up to 180 degrees. So, what we're going to do is, let's add all of these up. Let's, if you want to write this out, it's a 14x plus, and I'm going to go clockwise, 133 plus 167 plus 138 plus 18x plus 115 plus 151 plus 120 all eight of these two three four five six seven eight add up to 1080 degrees <sighs> thank god for calculators so let's combine some like terms uh 14x so we only have two x's 14x plus 18x 14 plus plus 18 is 32 so we have 32 x's Plus now let's add all the the regular whole numbers, um, which is 133 plus 167 plus 138 plus 115 plus 151 plus 120 add up to 824. So all these angles that don't have an X. Add up to 824 degrees equals 1080. And so let's subtract 824 from both sides. 1080 minus 824 is 256 and 14x. And the last and final step to figure out what X is in this octagon where all these angles add up to 1,080 degrees is divide both sides by 14. And hopefully it comes out to be a whole number because whenever we get whole numbers, we feel better, right? So 14 and it, why did I put 14 there? It's 32. Yeah. So. Oh, 14, oh, because of that. Okay, so 32, look at that. Yeah, I saw that decimal and I was like, oh no, I don't feel good about that. So let's fix it. 256 divided by 32, not 14. There's a 32 right there. Oh, it looks way better. That was a relief. I had some anxiety right there. All right, so don't, don't get anxiety. Just try it again. Just check your answers and then... Yeah, it goes away. All right, x equals 8. So that is the sum of the interior angles formula. So m minus 2 times 180. And this is called, again, the sum of interior angles. All right, there you go. Hope that helps. Have a great day.